Hey guys, my name is Steve Ferreira. I'm the game director for Apex Legends. And I'm Nevin Nikolic, design director for Apex Legends. Today we're here to celebrate an amazing milestone, the fifth anniversary of Apex, and to tell you all about the exciting things we've got in store for our new season, Breakout. But before we get to all that, I wanted to take a moment to give a shout out to you, our amazing players. Thank you to our incredible community for five years of Kraber No Scopes, Nessie Easter Egg Hunts, and amazing us with your incredible highlights and community content. This past year, we broke the mold in how we've always done things. We started the year with a strong focus on the Legend meta and added class perks. We revisited the firing range and gave it a facelift. Did our first ever Legend rework with Revenant, gave Stormpoint a massive update, and created an exciting in and out of game narrative arc with Kill Code. We've learned a ton and we're excited to keep pushing the boundaries of what Apex can be for the fifth anniversary and beyond. Our new season, Breakout, will see us evolving and adding depth to the core Apex experience. So get ready to spend hours mastering all new aspects of the game. New to Apex? Don't sweat. We've got some exciting new modes to help new players jump in and start running and gunning with an all new streamlined BR limited time mode new team deathmatch style LTMs, and the return of fan favorites like Three Strikes. We're going to be introducing new asynchronous Apex tournaments for both the casual and competitive, and launching our next phase of Gen 5 features, a 120 hertz performance mode, haptics, and adaptive triggers on controllers. This year, starting with Breakout, we are going to evolve the core gameplay we all love with a significant change to the Legends meta again with the Legend Upgrade System. For those that love the world of Apex, we will continue to expand our storytelling and go deeper into the Apex games than we ever have before. For those with a competitive streak, major changes are coming to ranked. The climb will be more rewarding, easier to understand, and bring the game even closer to the pinnacle of competitive Apex, the Apex Legends Global Series. In Breakout, We've heard your feedback and we'll be rolling out a series of changes designed to give you what you've been asking for. A better competitive ranked experience that rewards skill combat. We're also bringing back splits for less grind and more reward and dropping the level cap to 20 so you can start hot dropping and climbing those ranks sooner. We are tuning several parts of the rank climb. First, an improved matchmaking experience. The beginning should feel less intense and the difficulty of your matches should scale with the skill as you climb the ranks. Second, we are putting more focus on combat and kills to drive the scoring. Kills will contribute more to your RP and final placement multipliers will align to combat skill. Additional bonuses, such as defeating players that outrank you, will further your climb. Expect a lot more from rank this year as we address your feedback and bring it even closer to the ALGS experience. This anniversary will be following tradition and featuring our incredibly talented community as part of the anniversary community prize tracker. We're also excited to reveal that we're bringing heirloom shards back for our fifth anniversary celebration event. That way you can celebrate your favorite legends by unlocking any heirloom or prestige skin of your choice this season. Get ready because we are rolling out the largest change to all legends since the game launched with our legend upgrade system. Over the course of the match, you'll be given the opportunity to augment your legends as you see fit. Some upgrades improve the specialization of a legend. Others might add a new ability altogether. The goal of the upgrade system is to allow players to go deeper with legend mastery and flexibility. To create a more intimate and dynamic gameplay experience over the course of each BR match when it comes to legends. Upgrade opportunities occur within each game and the sooner you get into the action or tap into your class perks, the faster you'll climb the upgrade curve. Every legend in the game has four options that allow for player expression. And the two decision-making points will happen from early into mid-game, generally speaking. After gaining enough Evo, you'll be able to select an upgrade that suits your play style or add some power to your legend that's not available at the start of the match. This will also give us another lever when it comes to legend balancing. We now have the ability to modify or swap out upgrades altogether to shift metas quickly in a way that doesn't compromise core gameplay patterns from specific abilities. As John described, a legend upgrade system changes how you become more powerful within a match of Apex. As you upgrade your legend, we need to look at how that interacts with armor and Evo, 
we tried a bunch of different methods of gaining legend upgrades, from finding items to completing objectives. Ultimately, we found the most natural feeling way to gain legend upgrades wound up being the Evo system. Getting into fights and dealing damage to other players is one of the riskiest actions you can take, and you should be rewarded for that. So, with Breakout, we're changing the armor system to tackle a few problems at once. First, we're pairing armor to legend upgrades. This means as you earn a new legend upgrade, your abilities and armor are upgraded at the same time. Level 1 is white armor, 2 is blue, and so on. Also, we're removing armor as a lootable object. The only way to upgrade your armor is by gaining legend upgrades. This smooths out the pacing of gaining armor, and creates a more distinct early, middle, and late game for Apex. The result is, as your legend becomes more powerful over the course of a match, your armor does too. Removing armor from being a lootable item will be a massive change in the pacing of a Battle Royale match. What has not changed is that the most consistent way to earn Evo is by dealing damage to other players. However, players still want ways of improving their armor by exploring the world or playing their class's role. To support this, we've added a few new ways to get Evo directly. The first new way to earn Evo is through the Evo Harvester. These are stations randomly placed around the map each game that players can directly get Evo from. Interacting with one grants an immediate boost of Evo for you and your entire team. The second is through Evo Caches, rare items that give players a large amount of Evo but will be harder to find. Finally, playing your class's role will earn you Evo directly. Interacting with things like survey beacons and support bins not only grants your team unique benefits, but also directly grants your team Evo. While armor is no longer a loot item, you can still pull off armor swaps through a new item type, shield cores. Looking in a death box, you'll no longer see the usual Evo armor, but instead a shield core that represents that armor's charge. If that shield core is for a player who is the same or lower level than you, picking it up will set your current armor to be that level. If that shield core is for a player who is higher than your current level, then you're granted overshield for the difference. Overshield is a temporary pool of health on top of your existing armor. Once it's gone, it's gone. This means all the moment-to-moment -moment gameplay around armor swapping mid-combat is still there. You just don't permanently keep that higher armor level after the fight. As we add new systems like legend upgrades, we need to balance that against the existing complexity of the game. To keep the focus on the action, we're going to simplify the crafting system, so you'll just be able to craft health items, ammo, and squadmates banners, if you have a support legend in your squad. Crafting one of these items will no longer require any crafting materials. You'll be able to interact with each replicator in the world once per match for free. Crafting time has also been sped up and is now almost instantaneous. This makes the replicator a reliable source of consumable items whenever you need them without having to worry about how many materials you have. In Breakout, we're streamlining some of the core systems around the BR so you can stay focused on the action. Limited time modes are a place where we can experiment with the core loop of the Battle Royale and find new ways to make Apex approachable for new players. In Breakout, we're excited to kick off the season with Straight Shot, our newest LTM. Straight Shot is all about getting you into the action faster. It's a sped up match of Apex, giving you more drops, more fights, and more enterings in less time. The match is smaller and faster. There's only 30 players per game, the ring focuses the game on a smaller portion of the map, and the end ring comes in half the time, roughly 10 minutes. Then, instead of the dropship, your squad is immediately dropped into a random POI. But watch out, each POI contains two teams. Up to you whether you want to fight immediately or rotate and play the long game. Also, looting has been dramatically simplified. Weapons come with all the attachments they need. Once the match is over, we've added one more exciting new thing to speed up your experience. When you're eliminated, you and your squad can immediately queue into your next match without going back to the lobby. Straight Shot lets you focus on the basics of movement and shooting, getting more reps in the Battle Royale in less time. Another new LTM coming later on in Breakout will be a TDM style mode, Lockdown. We held a community vote earlier this year and Control came out on top as the favorite mixtape mode. Inspired by that, Lockdown combines the best parts of TDM and Control, giving players a tighter and faster objective-based mode. In Lockdown, You'll work together with your squad to capture control points around a smaller map. Most points wins. Finally, I'm excited to reveal that in Breakout we're bringing three strikes back. For those who are new to Apex, this is a great mode to try out, because it makes the Battle Royale more forgiving. You have three chances to keep playing after your squad is wiped. 
You get to keep your armor and weapons when you respawn, so you can get right back into the action. In this coming year, look forward to more modes that make it easier to jump into Apex Legends. Three Strikes, Straight Shot, and Mixtape modes are all great places to experiment and show off with your friends. This is just the start. We've got a ton of cool stuff coming this year, so stay tuned. In Breakout, you'll see that our maps look a little different than previous seasons. A lot of exciting things have been happening in the Apex games. With Duardo Silva dead and everyone in the Outlands discovering he was building a Revenant army, the Syndicate is using this season to distract its civilians by throwing a huge party to celebrate the legends and everyone's favorite sport, the Apex Games. Now that you know a bit about why the maps look different, let's talk about what you can expect when you drop in. To start, we're introducing an all new custom map exclusive to Mixtape. Feeding off the energy and excitement of a live crowd, the Thunderdome is an homage to the history of the Apex Games. Floating high in the sky, this modular stadium captures the essence of King's Canyon in a gladiatorial setting. This marks the first mixtape map that will be available in every mode, so we look forward to seeing players learning the map and forming their strategies. In addition, the museum on World's Edge has received an all-new exhibit to coincide with the launch of the new season. You'll see new displays and interactions that celebrate the Apex Games and its history. There may even be a few never-before-seen tidbits that will be fun to find. This year also sees all the familiar items you interact with done up to fit the theme of the season. Loot bins, jump balloons, tridents, and gravity cannons are more vibrant than ever to get you pumped for breakout. We also see a return of our lovable legend balloons with all new designs meant to evoke the tone of our celebration. And finally, along with our colorful banners, confetti, and flags that are scattered throughout all the maps, you can spot some very large blimps flying around constant reminder that this season has a lot to celebrate. The MAPS team is hard at work prepping an exciting year, filled with new locations to explore, stories to discover, and sights to take in. My name is Jasmine Chang, and I'm the brand manager for the Apex Legends Global Series, also known as the ALGS. You've heard us talk about the pinnacle of Apex Esports, but for those who have never watched the ALGS, here's a quick rundown of how it works. We're currently in year four of the ALGS, and over time, we've truly established this circuit as the destination for the best of the best. I mean, tens of thousands of players from all over the world come together to compete for their share of the $5 million prize pool. Our competitive season typically lasts around nine to 10 months of the year, and the competition is ultimately centered around our three LAN events, split one playoffs, split two playoffs, and of course, the World Championship. In order to qualify for one of our LAN events, your team will need to rack up enough points during the ALGS Pro League, which can be done by outperforming your competition week over week during our Pro League match days. There are actually four Pro Leagues going on all at once, and it's split by region. North America, EMEA, APAC North, and APAC South. Once you actually make it to a LAN, you'll then have to survive our patented match point format, which has proven to keep everyone on the edge of their seats. Match point works like this. In order to win an event, a team must first reach 50 points in order to be match point eligible. Once they've hit 50 points or higher, all they need to do is take first place in a match to win the whole thing. It's almost guaranteed that multiple teams will reach match point eligibility, so you can see where the suspense comes from. Personally, I think the coolest part is that anybody is eligible to compete in the ALGS, not just the TSMs and the Fanatics of the world. We have tournaments like the preseason qualifiers and the Challenger Circuit that allow anyone that's level 50 and above to shoot their shot at the big leagues. It feels like TSM and Dark Zero can't stop winning our LAN events, so maybe one of you will be the ones to dethrone them. If you're interested in watching the ALGS Pro League, matches will be happening throughout February and March in the run-up to the Split 1 playoffs. We'll be announcing the venue and dates for the playoffs shortly, so stay tuned for more details. To keep the party going, we'll be giving away six Legends for free this season. Seer, Fuse, Rampart, Maggie, Loba, and Valk. Every two weeks, a featured legend will be free to play for the rest of the season. Each legend will come with a set of challenges. Complete the challenges before breakout ends and unlock that legend permanently. There are also exciting rewards. A brand new legendary race skin, 
new banners, new Legend and Gun skins, and much, much more. Head to our blog for all the information. As we head to the launch of our fifth anniversary season, Breakout, we just wanted to take another moment to thank you all for your continued love and support for this game. We would not be here without you. We can't wait to show you all the amazing things that are coming for the fifth anniversary and beyond.